very good morning to all of you myself professor dhawal chandrana and we are continue on our unit number 9 sql concept of dbms subject as we know that we are previously discuss a two important sql concept or we can say sql inbuilt functions like date and time functions and aggregate function in both the function we are discussing different different functionality which is provided by sql how to write this query what was the importance of this particular functions and what are the different types of function which we are discussing in our previous lecture guys today we will discuss some more stuff regarding sql concept known as a set operations in a particular set operations we will discuss a union intersections and accept then after we will discuss a group by clauses and having clauses so guys today is the most important lecture regarding how to perform a conditions based on a group of or bunch of data and for this we will discuss group by and having clauses so we'll start with the set operations as we know that how we discuss this all the things first we are discussing a basic concept a basic theoretical concept then based on the concept we will discuss some of the syntax and depends on a syntax we will discuss some of the example so you are clear all the things which is the requirement how to write this particular query and what was the output the result of two queries can be combined using the set operations a union intersections and a differentiation so whenever user want to perform a multiple query on a single operations at that time they are using a set operations ચાર એક થી વધારે ક્વેરીની રિક્વાયરમેન્ટ હોય અને એ સિંગલ ઓપરેશન્સમાં પરફોર્મ કરવાની રિક્વાયરમેન્ટ હોય ત્યારે યુઝર્સ સેટ ઓપરેશન્સનો યુઝ કરશે ઇન ઓર્ડર ટુ કેલ્ક્યુલેટ ધ યુનિયન ઇન્ટરસેક્શન્સ ઓર અ ડિફરન્સીસ ઓફ ટુ ક્વેરીઝ ટુ ક્વેરી મસ્ટ બી અ યુનિયન કમ્પેટેબલ વિચ મીન્સ દેટ તે બોથ રિટર્ન અ સેમ નંબર ઓફ કોલમ્સ એન્ડ દેટ ધ કરસ્પોન્ડિંગ કોલમ્સ હેવ અ કમ્પેટેબલ ડેટા ટાઈપ whenever user want to perform a set operations it is the prior thing that a prior conditions to apply a set operations a table is must be a union compatible and what was the union compatible the return of output of the both the table must be in the same number of column or corresponding column have a compatible data type means che be table mathi tame query execute karo jo any numbers of column સેમ હોવી જોઈએ અને એની ડેટા ટાઈપ પણ સેમ હોવી જોઈએ એન્ડ જો એ બે સેમ છે એનો મિનિંગ કે ટેબલ યુનિયન કમ્પેટેબલ છે તો પછી તમે યુનિયન ઇન્ટરસેક્શન ઓર ડિફરન્સીસ એઝ પર ધ રિક્વાયરમેન્ટ યુઝ કરી શકો છો બટ જ્યારે જ્યારે સેટ ઓપરેશન્સનો યુઝ કરવો હોય ત્યારે પર્ટિક્યુલર ટેબલ યુનિયન કમ્પેટેબલ હોવું કમ્પલસરી છે સ્ટાર્ટ વિથ ધ યુનિયન ઓપરેશન્સ યુનિયન ઇફેક્ટિવલી અપેન્ડ્સ the result of query 2 to the result of query 1 furthermore it eliminates all the duplicate rows in the sense of distinct unless all is specified jo koi users union operations perform kare che it is a part of set operations to query 2 nu je result je eni upar append tha se query 1 nu result ane jare tame koi pan set operations perform karo cho એ ઓલવેઝ ડુપ્લિકેટ વેલ્યુને રિમૂવ કરી દેશે જો તમે ઓલ નામનો કીવર્ડ યુઝ નથી કરતા સો બાય ડિફોલ્ટ એ ડિસ્ટિંક્ટ વેલ્યુ પરફોર્મ કરશે મીન્સ તમને જે રેકોર્ડ મળશે એ યુનિક રેકોર્ડ હશે ડિસ્ટિંક્ટ ઇઝ ડુપ્લિકેટ રો શોઝ ઓનલી વન્સ એન્ડ ઓલ ડુપ્લિકેટ રો શોઝ વન સો ધ ડુપ્લિકેટ વેલ્યુ શોઝ ઓન વન્સ એન્ડ શોઝ ઓનલી વન્સ ઇટ્સ બિકમ અ ડિફરન્સ બિટવીન ડિસ્ટિંગ્સ and all select star from a union select star from b means whatever the result it should be generated from select star from a and select star from b that can remove a duplicate record from the output which should be compatible from a and b so jare tame union perform karo cho tyare je record display thai che e badha j record unique hase kem ke duplicate record યુનિયન ઓપરેટર અથવા તો સેટ ઓપરેટર પરફોર્મ કરે છે અને રિટર્ન તમને એટલા જ રેકોર્ડ આપે છે જે યુનિક હશે 
कोईपण सेट ऑपरेटर डिस्टिंक्ट बाय डिफॉल्ट परफॉर्म करत हे सो इट इज द आउटपुट इट इज नॉन एज अ टेबल ए इन पर्टिक्युलर टेबल ए दे हैव अ वन टू थ्री एंड फोर नंबर्स ऑफ रेकॉर्ड इन टेबल टू दे हैव अ थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स इफ यू एप्लाइंग अ सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम ए यूनियन सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम बी देन अ रेकॉर्ड नंबर थ्री एंड फोर इज डुप्लिकेटेड सो इट्स अ जनरेट अ आउटपुट रेकॉर्ड एंड रिमूव अ पर्टिक्युलर थ्री एंड फोर एंड जस्ट राइट अ सिंगल टाइम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स सो दे कैन एलिमिनेट अ डुप्लिकेट मीन्स डुप्लिकेट रो शोज ओनली वंस इफ यूजर वॉन्ट टू रिट्राइव अ डुप्लिकेट रेकॉर्ड शो वंस देन दे कैन यूज अ ऑल कीवर्ड सेकेंड इट इज नॉन एज अ इंटरसेक्शन्स रिटर्न ऑल द रोज दैट आर बोथ इन द रिजल्ट ऑफ क्वेरी वन एंड इन द रिजल्ट ऑफ क्वेरी टू डुप्लिकेट रोज आर एलिमिनेटेड अनलेस ऑल इज स्पेसिफाइड सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टेबल वन इंटरसेक्ट सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टेबल टू सो वॉट वॉज द आउटपुट इफ अ टी वन हैव वन टू थ्री रेकॉर्ड्स इफ टी टू हैज टू टी फोर रेकॉर्ड्स देन दे कैन रिटर्न अ सेकेंड नंबर एंड थर्ड नंबर इज अ कॉमन वैल्यू सो दे जस्ट रिटर्न अ टू एंड थ्री नंबर बिकॉज इंटरसेक्ट रिटर्न ओनली दोज रेकॉर्ड वु आर कॉमन इन बोथ द टेबल एंड दे जस्ट रिमूव अ डुप्लिकेट रेकॉर्ड सो आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वॉज द रिजल्ट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन्स of t1 and t2 it's generate only 2 and 3 number they can remove 1 and 4 because it is not repeated value from t1 and t2 last thing it is known as accept written all the rows that are in the result of query 1 but not in the query of 2 so accept generate the minus value again a duplicate are eliminated unless all is specified Select star from T1, intersect. Select star from T2. Just remove the word intersect with respect to accept. So you just return a particular value with respect to accept result. They just return a common record which should be duplicated. As per the definition, return all the rows that are in the result of query one. means the result of query 1 t1 but not in the result of query 2 t2 or we can say query 2 so in the select star from table 2 they just retrieve 2 3 4 select star from t1 retrieve 1 2 3 they compare 2 3 is common record so they can ignore it they just return a one number chare tame accept value return karavo cho athwa to accept value perform karo cho तर एक्सेप्ट रिजल्ट कई रीते जनरेट थे ये हूँ तमने कही दू चुँ एज पर द फर्स्ट लाइन पहली लाइन में एवं लखेलू है कि रिजल्ट ऑफ क्वेरी वन जे जनरेट थे बट एम जे रिजल्ट ऑफ क्वेरी टू में जे वेल्यू रिटर्न थे ए नहीं हो जनरेट था स्क्रीन में जे कहींप आउटपुट जनरेट थे अथवा तो जे आउटपुट जनरेट थी डिस्प्ले थे ये समझवा ट्राई करिए कि हूँ सौ पहला क्वेरी लखू चु सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टी वन तो मैं आउटपुट में शू आ वन टू और थ्री रेकॉर्ड देन वी परफॉर्म द एक्सेप्ट सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टी टू जैसे सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टी टू परफॉर्म करो छो तरह आउटपुट में मैंने शूँ टू थ्री और फोर अपनी फर्स्ट लाइन एवं कहे रिटर्न ऑल द रोज देट आर इन द रिजल्ट ऑफ क्वेरी वन बट ए के न हो रिजल्ट ऑफ क्वेरी टू जे बीजी क्वेरी परफॉर्म करो छो एम ए वेल्यू न आती होने खाली वन में ज आती हो क्वेरी तक रिटर्न कर सो तो बे नंबर एट्ले कि टू और थ्री ए वन रिजल्ट में आए थे टू रिजल्ट में आए थे तो इग्नोर थी जाने आउटपुट को लेनली क्वेरी वन तो ओनली वन नं नंबर इज रिमेनिंग सो द आउटपुट ऑफ सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टेबल टी वन एक्सेप्ट सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम टी टू the result of this particular query is a one number i hope you are clear what is accept and what was the output of accept if you are implemented in form of different different table now we discussing group by clauses with grouping query result related rows can be grouped together by the group by clauses based on the distinct value 
that exist for a specific column jare user ni requirement evi hoy ke data alag alag formations ma athwa to numbers of sequence ma apelo chhe ane emathi tamare group ma convert karvo chhe to jare data ne group ma convert karvano thai e baddi j vakte tamare group by keyword use karvano thase with a select keyword a group by close is create a sets of data containing a several sets of records group together based on some some conditions so jare tame group by conditions atho to group by close use karo jo tyare koi specific conditions aapvi compulsory chhe a particular condition na base upar tamne output ma group by records generate karine aapse અને ગ્રુપ બાય નો સિમ્પલ મીનિંગ એવો છે કે સેમ અમાઉન્ટ ઓફ ડેટા સાથે હો અને અલગ અલગ ડેટા નો ગ્રુપ જનરેટ કરો ધ ગ્રુપ બાય સ્ટેટમેન્ટ ઇઝ યુઝ વિથ ધ એસક્યુએલ એગ્રીગેટ ફંક્શન્સ ટુ ગ્રુપ અ રિટ્રાઈવ અ ડેટા બાય વન ઓર મોર કોલમ્સ ઓર એક્સપ્રેશન્સ સો વેનેવર યુ એપ્લાઈંગ અ ગ્રુપ બાય એટ ધ ટાઈમ યુ કેન યુઝ વિથ ધ એગ્રીગેટ ફંક્શન્સ ઓલસો બીકોઝ ઇટ ઇઝ ઓલસો અ પાર્ટ ઓફ એગ્રીગેટ ફંક્શન્સ યુ જનરેટ a single result based on different or multiple value so it is also known as a group by conditions the order by keyword shorts the record in ascending order by default because we know that we will discuss in previously what is the use of order by keyword order by keyword no use jare tame karo cho tyare output na data ne shorting karva mate use karo cho જો તમે ઓર્ડર બાય કીવર્ડ યુઝ નથી કરતા તો આઉટપુટ ઓલવેઝ એસેન્ડિંગ ઓર્ડરમાં શોર્ટ થયેલો હશે જો યુઝરની રિક્વાયરમેન્ટ એને ડિસેન્ડિંગ ઓર્ડરમાં કન્વર્ટ કરવાની હશે સો એટ ધેટ ટાઈમ ડીઈએસસી કીવર્ડનો યુઝ કરવાનો છે વિથ હેલ્પ ઓફ ઓર્ડર બાય કીવર્ડ્સ ધ ગ્રુપ બાય કોલમ ડઝ નોટ હેવ ટુ બી ઇન ધ સિલેક્ટ ક્લોઝિસ આપણે સિલેક્ટ સાથે ગ્રુપ બાય યુઝ કરવાનું નથી कंडीशन्स बेस साथ ग्रुप बाय क्लॉजिज यूज करवा है लाइक आप सिलेक्ट क्लॉजिज यूज करूत तरह वेर नाम कीवर्ड्स यूज करो छो कोई स्पेसिफिक रेकॉर्ड ने फिल्टर आउट करने तो सेम वे वेर साथ आप ग्रुप बाय क्लॉजिज यूज करवा है जेना बंच ऑफ डेटा ने ग्रुप में डिवाइड कर सकस लेक्सी विथ एक्जाम्पल अ ग्रुपिंग क्वेरी ग्रुप्स अ रो बेस on a common value in a sets of grouping columns because it is known as a group rows with the same value for a grouping columns are placed in a distinct group we will discuss we will divide a particular rows based on a same value it is nothing but a group but the word distinct is will be implemented by default link so they can remove a duplicate record each group is treated as a single row in a query result now how to implement it a group by just see the syntax select a column name from table name it is the generalized syntax group by column name through which you can generate a group example retrieve number of student in a various department so the condition is you can retrieve a student record based on department so your group is based on a department so now your result should be generated based on department wise student list select dpt count sid total number of student from student department group by dpt chare tame group by closes use karo jo tyare compulsory che ke e je column par tame group by use karvana hoy to to group by keyword sathe je column use karvi hoy ए पर्टिक्युलर कॉलम ने सिलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट साथ राखव कम्पलसरी है अदरवाइज एरर जनरेट कर सो आप एवं कही सकी कि ग्रुप बाय क्लॉजिज में जे कॉलम तब यूज करो छो अथवा तो जेना बेज पर तब ग्रुप जनरेट करो छो ए पर्टिक्युलर कॉलम नाम सिलेक्ट साथ राखव कम्पलसरी है सैकेंड थिंग हेविंग क्लॉजिज इट इज अ फिल्टरिंग ग्रुप ऑफ क्वेरी रिजल्ट જ્યારે કોઈ સિંગલ રેકોર્ડ્સ અથવા તો સિંગલ નંબર ઓફ ટપલ્સને આપણે ફિલ્ટર આઉટ કરવા હોય ત્યારે આપણે વેર કીવર્ડ યુઝ કરીએ છીએ જ્યારે બંચ ઓફ રેકોર્ડ્સ એટલે કે ગ્રુપ ઓફ રેકોર્ડ્સ ઉપર કન્ડિશન્સ પરફોર્મ કરવી હોય ત્યારે આપણે હેવિંગ ક્લોઝિસ યુઝ કરશું એપ્લાઇંગ અ કન્ડિશન વિથ અ ગ્રુપ બાય એટ ધેટ ટાઈમ વી આર યુઝિંગ અ હેવિંગ ક્લોઝિસ 
first where clauses a grouping query can also be grows based on a common value in a sets of grouping columns and with a specific conditions so whenever your result should be a based on a specific conditions result at that time we are using a where clauses it's nothing but to retrieve a filter routes rows or tuples based on a users conditions the where clauses specifies the rows to be retrieved since there is a no where clauses all rows are retrieved by default jo tame where clauses use karo cho to specific conditions che apie se ane match thati hase ej row return karse athwa to row nu result avse jo tame where clauses use nathi karta to badha j record retrieve thai ne avse retrieving the customers informations foos purchase amount exits group by customers id so how we can write this particular query with a where conditions select star from customer loan where amount is less than 4000 group by customer id so first you can generate a group of data through which we can apply the conditions now second word it is known as a having clauses it is the important to learn how to apply a conditions on a group by data having is conditional clauses which checks a data for specific search conditions because whenever you applying a having clauses at that time user have a group of data which should be a same result or which which should be common values and for this if you perform some of the condition so we can use having clauses jare tame having clauses use karo jo tyare tamari pase je data ase ek group by karelo jase means common record ase je je record upar tame search karavo jo e badha j record ek group ma ase ane eni upar tamare conditions perform karvani che ane output generate karvano che a having clauses is like where clauses but applicable only to the group as well where the where clauses applied to individual rows so what was the difference between where and having whenever you have a data with a group by information and if you want to filter out those data at that time you can go with the having conditions and if you have a data without any kind of group and to generate a specific conditional based record at that time you are go with the where clauses a query can be conditions both a where clauses and having clauses because if you want to filter out records and that time you just go with the where or having clauses select star from customer loan group by customer id having customer id is greater than 103 so whenever you are performing group by clauses and if you want to perform the specific record or if you want to retrieve some specific record with help of group by at that time you are going with the having clauses so guys jare jare tame group of bunch of data upar conditions perform karva mago cho at that time tamare having clauses no use karvano che jare tamari pase data group ma nathi ane tamare filter out data jove che tyare tamare where condition no use karvano che Let's see some another example with having clauses. Retrieve department having more than two student in it. So first we find out a department student informations. Then we apply a more than two student. It is a one of the conditions to retrieve only those student who have a more than two in particular department. So select department count as ID. total number of student it is the alias name from the student department group by department they can generate a result based on a department name and based on a department name they provide the condition having count sid is greater than 2 to sauthi pehla shu thase a department and a count karine generate karse a particular department wise etle ke particular department wise ketla ketla student che જ્યારે કાઉન્ટ એસઆઈડી રિટર્ન કરશે એટલે પર્ટિક્યુલર ડિપાર્ટમેન્ટમાં કેટલા સ્ટુડન્ટ છે એ કાઉન્ટ કરીને રિટર્ન કરશે અને એમાં પણ આપણે કન્ડિશન્સ એપ્લાય કરવાની છે કે જે સ્ટુડન્ટનો રેકોર્ડ 
डिपार्टमेंट वाइज ग्रुप परफॉर्म कर रेकॉर्ड जो है अथवा तो एज डिपार्टमेंट स्टूडेंट आवा जो कि एक डिपार्टमेंट में बे थी स्टूडेंट हो तो आप डिपार्टमेंट वाइज स्टूडेंट तो लई आया हम एनी कंडीशन्स परफॉर्म करने के तो जेकॉर्ड डिस्प्ले थवा जो कि एक डिपार्टमेंट में मोर देन टू रेकॉर्ड्स होवा जो जो वन रेकॉर्ड हे तो आप डिस्प्ले नहीं करवा हैविंग कंडीशन यूज करे काउंट एस आई डी जेनु एस आई डी काउंट कर मोर देन टू मैं एज स्टूडेंट ने अपने रिट्राइव करवा सो आई होप यू आर क्लियर के वेर क्य यूज थाविंग क्य यूज था नवी डिस्कस अ ग्रुप बाय एंड एग्रीकेट फंक्शन्स ग्रुप बाय क्लॉजिस इज वेरी यूजफुल इन अ कॉम्बिनेशन्स विथ एग्रीकेट फंक्शन्स लेट से हाउ इट्स हेल्पफुल एग्रीकेट फंक्शन्स लाइक सम एवरेज मीन मैक्स एज वी डिस्कस इन प्रीवियसली रिटर्न द एग्रीकेट ऑफ ऑल द कॉलम्स वेल्यूज एवरी टाइम दे आर कॉल्ड सो वेन एवर वी यूजर एप्लाय द एग्रीकेट फंक्शन्स दे केन रिटर्न ओनली सींगल्स रिजल्ट बेज ऑन द मल्टीपल वेल्यू एंड बेज ऑन एप्लाइंग एग्रीकेट फंक्शन्स Using group by, it is possible to find the functions value of each individual group of a particular column's value, because we know that the results of data it must be in a group. Then and then we can apply the aggregates value. How to use uh, aggregate functions with the group by clauses? Select a column name aggregate function. As a previous example, we will see count. S I D based on the S I D we can generate having conditions and among the having condition we generate a particular specific department wise result. So the select column name aggregate functions with the expressions from table name where row qualifier conditions which is generated by the filter results group by column name having group qualified where conditions. Retrieve total loan amount for all the loans taken by each customer of bank. So find out the result based on the conditions: customer ID. First, we want to retrieve total loan amount. So for this, we can use a sum aggregate functions in form of amount column from the customer loan department, group by customer ID. So they can generate. Each customer of bank, because a group by clause is generated, a distinct value by default. Second example: display the maximum of average salary offered in all the departments. So we want to generate a department-wise maximum salary with an average salary condition. Select maximum average salary from the employee group by department ID. so guys i hope you are clear how a group by is work how group by is implemented with the having clauses and how to implemented a aggregate functions with group by clauses please go through the all and each and every explanation which is delivered with this video lecture try to implement it by yourself and generate some specific output as per the discussion I hope you are learning so many thing enjoy and thank you so much